I love staying focused, just like I'm being focused in this video and not being distracted at all because I have focus apps that I use every single day. And in this video, I'm gonna dive into the top five different focus apps that you can get this year. But that being said, let's dive right in. First and foremost, an app that I used to use that now is something I quit is the browser extension, Cold Turkey. So if you go to getcoldturkey.com, you'll see that there is a Chrome extension as well as a downloadable app that you can have a free version of, or if you wanna get the more advanced version, you can use as a pay once forever option. Essentially what this product does is it forces you to install a Chrome extension so that it can actually do the things that it says it's going to do. And then from there, after you install everything on it, you essentially have the ability to set up blocks. Now with the different pricing you'll notice that with the lifetime access you have the ability to get more of the features right like for free you do have the ability to block websites timed blocks website exceptions and statistics however with the premium plan you have the option to block applications which are installed into your computer scheduled blocks all the different locking features are allowed the ability to have breaks and allowances so you don't actually have the ability to have breaks on the free plan, which is interesting. And you also have application passwords as well. So for example, I can go in here and I could take a URL and block it, whether that be something like youtube.com, if that's something I'm distracted by, I'd install it on my account, press add, and then press save as. Now I can make a different list. So like social media, and then from there, if I click this, it will force the block to go on. Now it's not something I want to do right now, but it is something that I absolutely can make an effort to block everything off of my account. And then this is called frozen turkey. You can essentially completely block your computer from being used, which is another interesting one for sure. So as you can see, pretty cool app if you want to check it out. All right, next what we're going to cover is Flora. So Flora is essentially a focus app where you can use it as a Pomodoro app of sorts. However, I really like it because it has a unique feature that makes it, uh, I don't know, psychologically harder to stop working or to switch off of the application. Essentially, you can use it on your phone, your iOS device here. I have it on my Mac, but iOS is what I used it for mostly. So essentially what you do is you click on the start button and you can pick your focus time. So I want it to be something around like, I usually do like 90 second time block. So I can do an hour and 30 minutes with a 10 minute break or 15 minute break. And then I'm gonna press start here. And this is really cool. So essentially if I click off of this, if I'm on my phone and I like switch off of this app, right? It'll essentially kill the plant, right? So if I go off of this, it will kill the tree. Now this is much more effective on your phone because essentially if you get off of the product itself and you go into something else like YouTube or whatever other app it would be, it would kill it. And it doesn't have as much effect on Mac. However, it's really cool. If you do click off of this, you're essentially like, oh no, I killed my tree. So it's really useful to keep you off of your phone because then you feel bad about killing the tree. And it also has a lot of social aspects to it. So there's different leaderboards and communities you can join. Uh, you can compete with your friends, which I really like. So if all those different things sound cool to you, check out Flora. Next on the list, which is definitely my favorite one here is Opal. So Opal is just essentially a product that is a nice blocker. I just like the UI UX of it. Um, it works really well because it essentially blocks me in a way that I enjoy. So in order to do scheduling sessions like on your Mac, you do need to pay for it. And it's actually decently expensive. Uh, it's $8 a month for the premium plan, but the free plan is pretty good too. Like if I want to just block different things, like pressing block now, I can make a different list of items and it's very similar to cold turkey, but it's available on the phone and Mac, which I really enjoy. And I have this list of different items that I want to not go on. Like Instagram is a big one for me where I just have like a muscle memory of just like, oh no, why am I going like and typing Instagram onto my browser? So if I press save here, start now, right? Then if I go back to my browser and if I type that in the little Instagram, if I type just Instagram and enter, which is usually just how it gets me, it says the time of time. Instagram is blocked, but here is an Opal haiku for you instead. And this does it every single time. It just has a new way to block me out from using the application. Charge up Instagram.com down. It's hilarious. So I, I really like this because it prevents me from going on these different things. Uh, when it comes to blocking stuff, you have the ability to block any app or game on my Mac too. So if I press this plus icon, I can block applications, which I think is great. So if there's any games on here I don't wanna go on, it can prevent that as well. So if you like this kind of stuff, I think you're gonna love another tool that's called OneSec. 
So one sec is a really cool tool where essentially once you open up an application, it works exactly like this. You see how it just kind of slows you down, says, hey, one second, do you want to open this or not? Like, it, honestly, do I, could I open my phone and show you exactly how it works? Yeah. Could I just show you this little pop-up and this is exactly what it does? You make a list of different apps or websites and it forces you to double think whether you're just muscle memorying your apps open. And then you can either continue or say no. And just this little level of delay is great because what I have it on is some apps and you can actually download the browser extension for this, which is really cool too. So if I go on Chrome, for example, get the extension, there's many times where I don't actually wanna block YouTube, but what I wanna do is make me double check and think, do I really need this to be you know, utilized? So if I install it on here, right? I want it to be a five second breath and I'm gonna configure the websites. So for example, YouTube is a big one for me. I actually have to use it for work, but truthfully, if I, uh, I'm honest with myself, there's a lot of times where I just type YouTube as well as muscle memory. And once again, it forces me to take a deep breath. And I like this because like, I can still do my job if I need to. However, you know, there's instances where I really can't go on there. I'm just getting distracted. So having the option to continue on YouTube or not is pretty cool. And last but not least, we're gonna talk about Focus Keeper. So Focus Keeper is pretty cool. It's essentially a, another great Pomodoro app that is one of the most recommended on the app store. So I wanna use this for Pomodoros, for working. Also, I can build habits with this as well, like digital detox and meditation, for example. So with this, it's just one of the better platforms because of the fact that it has the focus sessions. It also has habit tracking inside of it. And I think it is one of the better UI UXs. You can set a Pomodoro timer similar to any other product that you'll see. It has a little sound as you can hear, or maybe not, but it's a ticking sound. I don't know if it's actually recording the sound in the background for this, but there's a ticking sound similar to a clock. And it's funny because you can actually adjust the timer and wind it down as you're going through it too, which is cool. Um, but I like this as well because it gives you really solid analytics options when you're on the pro plan. This will actually work out a little bit better for you and you can see it more in depth. As you can see here when I press plus, the monthly plan is 399 and the annual plan is 166. So this is just another basic focus app. So if you're interested in this one, definitely check it out and give all these a try. Whatever app ends up working for you, totally worth the effort of figuring that out. I enjoy one sec the most as well as Opal because it provides me the option to block stuff I really shouldn't be on and then to take a delay for things that I can use in a viceful way, but end up sometimes needing to actually use. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video and watch this one on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.